Yeti loves the camera. Every time I take the camera out, he's got to put his face right in it. <laughs> Smelly Belly TV. <clears throat> Look who's in the driver's seat. Be afraid. Yeah. Be afraid today. Um, we actually put out Jayla's very first ever driving experience uh, already on our channel, so go watch it if you haven't after this video, of course. And on her channel, it's just JJ. I'll leave a card for her channel. She put like the day, the minute she got her permit, she drove home from the DMV, which is not a good idea. It was fine. She did good. We were on a safe ish street, not too busy of a street, so it worked out. We we're on our way to the pet store, like I mentioned before, because. We're upgrading this little beauty's ferret cage. Which um, we were gonna do from the beginning anyway, so. Okay, so Jayla's a little salty right now about the comments because I just have to address the comments real quick. Um, I'd rather do it in a video because I feel like when I comment back, it might come off sounding defensive or, or in a certain way yeah, because you can't, can't really hear my hear tone. Yeah, you can't hear my tone. Hold on, I'll be right back. I just have to give Jayla a little bit of direction on which way we were going, but we're good now. So back to the comments. I don't know why there's so much hate about um, the way we treated our ferrets. Well. I get the whole rat ferret yeah, thing. Yeah, the rat and the ferret thing, I understand. We get that. that was a dumb mistake. That was bad. It was yeah. a dumb move. We and got we understood it. we took the ferrets out of the cage right away. Like immediately. Yeah, we didn't put our, our we have a saltwater pool, so we, the, the chlorine wouldn't have been damaging. It's them. just like if you, like in a bathtub, our water salted in our house Yeah, and too. after, even after they get out of the bathtub or whatever, like, we only give them, we only let them go in the water, like. We, we mainly like, actually the ferrets jumped into our pool. Yeah. First of all, they like literally jumped in because they, I don't know, they wanted to swim. Yeah. I don't know. But we'd rather them learn how to swim than not because we do let them play around the pool area. So if they were to fall in or something, I'd rather supervised. them. Yeah, supervised, of course. <laughs> I'd rather them know how to get out. Um, but yeah, the, the, the whole cage thing, definitely temporary cage, like mm -hmm. the. That was the cage that they were living in for two years at the pet store. Well, we didn't get them from actually a pet store. We got them from I, the exotic. I don't know where they were living before. But yeah. that's the cage they were in when we went to pick them up. Yeah. So we got to get that right because we actually get all of our pets from actual exotic breeders, mm -hmm. um, not the pet store. We might get our supplies from the pet store because that makes it a little easier. Yeah. But definitely our animals come from exotic breeders, all the exotic yeah, ones that we have. Yeah, we know them personally, like we know where we're getting our animals from. Exactly. So that settles that. Um, I definitely appreciate all the funny like tips and tricks. You guys say they really like hammocks, so we're definitely getting them lots of hammocks. Um, the food situation, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do about that yet because I don't think we're quite ready to handle a pure raw diet just yet. Um, and on that, I just feel like that's personal preference. Like yeah. we don't have to, we don't have to do everything exactly how someone yeah. else says it should be done. Well, for a while, we fed our dogs like just like chicken and peas. They and were on raw, like just dogs can be on a raw diet. A lot of animals can actually be on a raw diet. Like Yeah, we, and we've done that and it's just like a lot of effort. Which um, is not a bad thing, but right now I think we're gonna just stick with the diet they were on before, before making such a drastic change because they already just got introduced to a new home. Mm -hmm. So we wanna keep some things kind of similar until yeah. we start changing it. Cause it's kind of like a big conversion going from like pellets to, to raw, raw food. food. And um, yeah, and about the brand of food we bought, I mean, I don't know what to say, that's just what's available here and, the, and in the right now. What, that's what we just got, like, and yeah. we get all of our all of our knowledge from uh, reputable exotic breeders yeah. and uh, experienced but animal owners. Like we don't just go to Google and do whatever they say. Yeah. So of course we didn't ask them if we could put ferrets with rats, but we understand. No, that, like. but the guy at the at the pet store and a lot of other people said that their ferrets and rats get along. But I think that's probably because they grew up together as, from babies. Well, I don't even know. I think there's just special animals. They have like special animals. Yeah, some so animals are just different. So we learned that that's just not gonna happen for us and that's yeah. okay. They don't need to be best friends. And we it's all understand good. you're like, wor you're, you're worried. Like, totally. Yeah. So now that we just got that out of the way, I just wanted to address all of that. Um, I know some of you guys were coming at us with hate, but I understand that's more from a place of concern. I get it. We understand it. We're moving on. We're working to be better people, a little bit better every day. So that's that. Back to Operation Get Things Done Day. Pet store first. Sorry that took a long time, but there was just a lot to address. We just arrived at the pet store and Jayla parked. We're about to check her uh, parking progress because the last park job, somebody's in a rush, uh, wasn't exactly perfect. Let's let's show them how that looked it. like. Let me find it. Pretty interesting. So um, that's how she parked. 
<laughs> so let's see this one. Let's see this one. Let's say that's progress. Not perfect, but getting better. <laughs> Jayla informed me we have a new pet store by our house that was just built and she said this one had better cages than the other pet store like where we got her rat cage because she has a four-story rat cage for her rats because she has two rats now by the way that he has a companion she has Mr. Rat and Shoddy but this doesn't look like anything yeah. better than what we have it just has a little ledge there yeah. this actually looks smaller than what we have so what are they gonna go to the other one? we might have to go to a different pet store because like i don't think that's really gonna work even this one's only 24 by 24. my feel, rat cage is bigger yeah your rat cage is bigger, bigger so i think they need something at least as big as your rat cage yeah uh, because yeah, my rat cage was the thing with the rats is that they're in their cage more they don't need as much outside time whereas ada's ada's ferrets get like a lot of outside time they can't even fit in that no i mean look how tiny that little hole is to go down the slide look at these like what even That's, is that they oh, can't get off that ledge i don't like this one yeah. i mean it's probably good for maybe one ferret not two it's a little sloth sleeper yeah. hammock that one's so cute there's a race car a race car that one's cute too but I kind of like this one. It just looks cozy and we comfy. We have that one. Oh, that's the one we have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I really want your help with this one. Is this safe for them to go into? Yes. Because I really don't know. Yes, it is. It is? They like to go yeah. in tubes You can like just that? buy, like, tubes like that. And they like just... Yeah, well, they, they do like to tunnel. Like, they were digging in, yeah, the, I in the dirt. To, yeah, I want to buy them one off the Amazon. Somebody recommended a sand um, pit for them. I don't know. I they feel like, like that could... like, eat it? I know, or it could get in their eyes they or something. I don't know if I agree with that, but... Is you going to get them this? I don't know. I just don't know if I want it because this photo looks a little ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just looks a little cheesy, but that's I don't I don't know about the tubey thing. That freaks me out. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It just does. You really can't get the card out. You can do it. I knew you could. I'm so proud. You're like a little mom right now with your smoothie and your phone in the cart. <laughs> Last time we were here, they did have the four story like Ferret Nation one or whatever. I'm hoping it's still here because I don't know what we're gonna do otherwise. Okay, so this one's definitely way better than the other one we saw. Um, what do you think? Is that gonna be enough space for them? Because what you could do is you could have their puppy pads down at the bottom because we don't litter train them. We have them trained on puppy pads. Um, well, I'm just gonna have to put them on every level for now until they figure out where the pooping spots are gonna be because if they put puppy down, puppy pads down there, they're not just gonna automatically take a crap down there. You don't think so? No. That's not how it works. They just pick a corner to poop in and they, pick, they poop Then that's the corner they want. Yes. Yeah. I think it's super funny that it says pet sold separately. Like, I'm pretty yeah. sure the pets are not in this box. That, that wouldn't be good. So Ada's doing a full update upgrade. She's getting new bowls, even though we just bought bowls. But she says the bowls are too small. They're eating their food too fast. So we're going to do new bowls, new water. See? Um, and then I need new this bowls. is just going to be our setup. Like... We're not in any, any way, shape, or form an education pet education channel. This is just what we're doing. This is what works for our life and our pets. And that's all it is. I have happy news. Dad's right next door picking up Diesel from the groomer, so he's going to come help us. And he's going to bring Cranky Diesel into the pet will store. Will you come look at bowls with me? This will get interesting because... this loser won't. That's, that's the loser. Just kidding. We love her. Yes, I'll come look at bowls with you. But I'm interested to see how Diesel does in the pet store because he's a little grouchy. And he just got a haircut, which oh, he does not like doing. Diesel's coming? Yeah, I want to see his haircut though. He's all say hi to the billions. Look at, look at how handsome he you looks look. So good. <laughs> pet store number two was a bust, um, but we made it to pet store number three. We're not giving up. If we don't find any anything here, we're gonna have to order something online because we're being very picky about this. They didn't have exactly what we wanted. This is not a good angle. Sorry. Guys, we got lucky. There was a local pet store nearby our house that had the cage we wanted. Did I let you know that? I can't remember if I said that or not. But anyways, they had the cage we wanted. We didn't have to order it online. Um, the other stores, the biggest one they had was like the size of Jayla's rat cage, which honestly would have been fine too, but this one's even better. Wait till you see it. It's time. Right, it's time, it's time to build <laughs> a new ferret home. If and this is anything like Jayla's rat cage went, um, it's, it's not that easy. It's not, it's not too bad, but it's not that easy. But Wait. they got this thing on lockdown. Like, look at this. I know. Staples. There's like no getting in. <laughs> and no tools required. That's what we we'll like. We'll see. We'll see. That's what we like. Tools required. <laughs> Food and water bowls because their other bowls were a little bit too small. So she upgraded their bowls. We got so many hammocks and hides and blankies and more hammocks. I can't wait to get it all set up. We did have a nice little hammock in their other cage though. They were having a good time in here. And but blanket. And blankets and all that good stuff. And not only that, Ada was like, 
letting them out probably four hours, six hours a day. Oh, uh, it was a lot. She would let them lot. just run around her room, snuggle with her in bed, sleep with her. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, can you, can you handle this need a bigger home room? because, like, you know, if we go on vacation or... You know. If there's a day where we're out for the day and they do need to be out in their cage the a little longer, then they'll have plenty of space. I guess, I mean, if we're on vacation, we'll probably have one of our friends. Somebody watch them, yeah. Step in. I don't know if you guys know this about us, but like YouTube is our full time job, so we stay home like a lot. So I think, like, out of a lot of people, um, we, our pets probably get the most free roam. Like, Jayla's rat just hangs out, the snake's always out. Beardy comes out sometimes. We still um, let Beardy Dragon out a lot, but yeah, we're home a lot, so they do get to roam around a lot. They don't like the little tunnels, they like they like want nothing to do with them. Where's he going? Come back here. There. <laughs> Yeti loves the camera. Every time I take the camera out, he's got to put his face right in it. <laughs> Bear, not so much. He's kind of aloof to life. Bear likes me. Like, he always comes and hangs out by He me. likes you. He doesn't really come by me much, but Yeti yeah. does. Oh, look at it. He's like, nah, never mind. <laughs> They're being <Yeti>. nosy. <laughs> Excuse me. So, basically, we've been working, well, my dad has been, well, I mean, my, we, I mean, my dad, has been working on this for about, like, I don't know, it seems like, how long do you think it has been? Uh, 10 minutes. And this is all he's got. Just that. That's okay, because all we gotta do next is, um, I actually went one step too far, so I gotta just go back a step, and then we'll be all good. I think that's just a dad problem. It's a dad um, problem. They're like, I don't need the instructions because I'm so manly. We put the ferrets back in their cage for now because we don't want them getting smashed or hit and get hurt in any type of way. So it's basically all that's going on right now. Just making it. I actually got this air purifier and it looks pretty cool. This little thingy. It looks, there's like a little remote. There's a light on it. Whenever we first got it, it was red. This little thing was red. But now it's green, but to make it all green, it has to go all the way up to the top. That means your room is fully purified with fresh air. Like ferrets, they're not really smelling, they just have like a smell. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, like a scent. All right, get down here, need your help. I'm gonna go get mom to help. All right, we're making progress. Well, he is. <laughs> yeah, opening needs to be in the back right or the front left. So that's front so left or back right, either way is fine. What do you think? Should Does it matter? Front left? Sure. I mean, I know I'm short, but let's just say they're going to have a little ferret mansion going on. Ladies and gentlemen, da, da, da. we have successfully made the cage. But we do have to accessorize still. We do got to accessorize <laughs> it. Like, look at how big this thing is, though. It's so big. I feel like sometimes on camera it's hard to tell how big things are, but. It's like nice Ada's, move Ada has a really giant room. Like over here is still her bed, all this space here. She still has a whole other animal cage there, corner with a dresser, and all this space. And like, you can still see that the t this takes up a good amount of it. Yeah, so. it does. But this is nice. They're not getting out. Oh of no, this those are so good. Out. Yeah. But there's no way they can just get out of it, you know? Yep. Angel, what are you doing? You come and say hi to the babies. Who come and say hi? They're taking a nap. See? Yeah, they're sleeping in there. Look how cute they are. They're each gonna have their own hammock. Yay! Look at how cute. Look at Bear. Oh, he's so peaceful. We have completed our ferret home, and now we are getting their food and water bowl all set up, and Ada's doing her interior yeah. decoration. All right, give us the tour, babe. What do we got so far? Level one will most likely be the potty area. The potty area. Where the puppy pads right. go, because they're puppy pad trained. Um, and then they'll have some space to still run around and play. Right. This is going to be the jungle gym room. The jungle gym room. Sure. Nice. I will probably put a hammock here for them. I don't know. Ada's going to work on that. Then level three is going out. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I promise. Level three is going to be the dining room. Oh, where nice. Where they can eat and also play. Wow. And then the final one will be the bedroom where they nap. Okay, napping spot. Well, I think it sounds good. And are we gonna put a little hammock right here? All the we have three hammocks. Yeah. Three right. hammocks. Oh wow. Much have a hammock. Every level will have a hammock. Pretty much. The two bros snuggling it out in there, Yeti and Bear. Yeti and 
Bear, are you ready for your new home? It's time. Should we put Yeti in first and see how he does and then put Baron or do oh. we just do both, both at the same, same time? time? I mean, they're pretty sleepy right now. So they might not do much. They might not do much. All right, Yeti, <laughs> Spaghetti, and Bear don't care. We're going in. I'll put him on the level with the food. Yeah, he'll like that level. He's going Bear's to go get him some food. Pig. Look he at him. He eats a lot. Oh, he's thirsty too. Oh, they're just kind of, they're just kind of filling it out. They're not really eating and drinking. Oh, there goes Yeti though. He's, he's getting himself soon. He's getting himself a little water action. Staying hydrated. Yep. All right, we're going to see if Bear likes his little hammock up here. You want to try it out, Bear? It looks just like you, you twinsies. Hopefully going it later tonight. He's like, ah, man, I, they want to explore I just right woke now. up. I want to go outside and play. Yeah, he wants to explore, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Hi. Yeah, you're so cute. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed our cute little ferrets as much as we do. We'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, full disclosure, this is just how we do things. It's not the end all be all. We'll see you in the next one. Remember, don't do drugs. Give hugs and eat chicken nugs. If we don't stop.